Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, allow me, first of all, in my capacity as coordinator for our group in the Budget Committee to thank our excellent rapporteur for a good work. I'm also convinced that we can find very broad common ground in this House, and that's important in this difficult economic time. Uh, my colleague, Mr. Gerbenian, Gerbrandi, explained very well where our group stands. We're very positive to the development in the House right now, where we very seriously examine all our costs in order to find savings instead of increasing our own budget. This is a path we need to continue on, and a part of this could actually be the external audit that colleague Manka just asked for. We have been calling for a similar type of solution for a longer time. It probably would not hurt. At the same time, the Secretary General, Mr. Velle, who was referred to before by colleague Ashworth, uh, has been doing a good job with finding savings once we started to demand them. So we also have to look at ourselves and remember that the savings will only be created once we ask for them. And now we've started to do so, and that's a good thing. Uh, we will also vote on the single seat amendment, which some colleagues referred to. Um, as stated before, this is a symbolic issue for many, but it's also an economic issue. And in these type of uh, austerity times we live in, it's important that colleagues have a possibility to take a stance on this issue once again, and that's why many members from our group have signed this amendment. So, colleagues, we're on the right path. Let's continue this, and we'll look far better in the eyes of the public in the future. Thank you, Mr. Chair.